I'm really excited to see uh, what this silence does in this game, honestly, for me. Obviously, it's something they theory crafted against the Shadow Demon. Some faith beyond us. Sorry, it was actually um, T1 who placed their ward first, so they sh do know that there's a mid ward, or should know there's a ward over mid, and get some gold off of. Faith beyond already losing his courier to White Mon. So who's going to get first blood? Those. And it's going to be Zephyr. Takes a sip. Yeah, they missed the curse from the silence run to the sign um, to the shadow demon there. Otherwise, they might have found the kill. And now Monkey King Army. He's in trouble, but they've got the arcane curse. They're putting the damage on. Carl gets a solo kill on Jinkyu while this is going on, and Ame ends up dropping in the top lane. This is all all bottom. On They're going after 23, and they'll get the kill onto the Sven. Zephyr falls over to Y. The top lane, it looked like it was going to have this really difficult start, but they've uh, managed to recover it nicely. Oh. Faith Bian. Three heroes down bottom for T1. Charge coming he has out from level six. Yeah, Sven might be in some trouble. Ooh. Reaper Scythe didn't get the kill, and now can they kill off 23? Jinkyu's down here, so they'll at least get that. They brought four heroes down bot for LGD, but Carl comes in, and he's silenced. Pulse Nova going off. They've got oh, the Heavenly Grace. Grace, so chase down the Tinker. Silencer trying to do all he can to get a kill here, but now Zhao Wei's going to fall too, so four heroes come bottom, four heroes leave bottom, all in a body bag. Actually, I'm going to have to take the regen room, but that's absolutely fine. As long as the Lesh doesn't get it. Oh, Jinkyu. down, Jinkyu caught. Jinkyu looking very dead here. I'm going to bring over Y once again. Carl looking to charge through mid. He's got some help from White Mon, too. And again, like how... The They're fact charging that just... in. And I, I just... They have purification. They have the Heavenly Grace, which was put on a creep. But still, they'll get the kill on a Zhao 8. He's uh, struggling a lot. Going first time blink as well, before the boots or anything. Hmm. Zhao eats charging into Carl, and this has just yeah, been a bad plan every time, it seems. Comes to get the spear out on a feet beyond the arena. Boundless strike. Cuckoo in trouble. Cuckoo very dead. Faith Beyond, he did have the Reaper Scythe, didn't have the range to get in and use it. They're going to look over at Zephyr and try to get themselves a plus one, and that should probably lead to the tier one tower bottom going down, too, with creeps pushing in on it. It's 50. Well, you don't get the strength, but... Well, I, no, I just got the status resistance, but... Balance Troy comes in, they've got the arena down, they're going to go to the Wukong's comes. command, the global silence, the end of the Reaper's Scythe, they'll get the kill into Zephyr, that's going to be the Shadow Demon dead first, they're chasing Carl to finally kill him off, they'll end his streak, three heroes down on the side of T1, and LGD are getting away oh, with it, they'll go after 23, you get put in like the hamster like, ball, and you run at each other, you... and you bounce off each other when you're in them, speak up, you, the way you said it there, you made it sound like you're not human, um, Carl's going to go on Jin Q here, though, in the top lane, <laughs> no, uh, Get that kill. Very dead. Yeah, oh, Carl when they put gonna... the humans in the balls. You're speaking like you're in something completely different. I love it. Don't call me out like that. I'm definitely human. <laughs> okay, oh, only level 10. Rina, that's going to come down. And now Faith Beyond going with the Reaper Scythe to get the kill here on the Cuckoo. Back over in the bottom lane. They'll go to the Wukong's command. They'll go after 23. He's going to be slowed up. And Jow 8 trying to get the kill oh, here with the help bash. of Ame. <laughs> and while they've got the bashes, they'll have the damage. They'll get the kill. They'll take out this Sven, and the game, net worth-wise, still sitting pretty even. Oh, they see Zephyr as well here. Good oh boy. And let's strike after the Heavenly Grace. Now he's got the Disruption. The Jow 8 charging. Does he want to commit all the way through? Global Silence committed. And that's Carl's just by Carl himself here. Right there by the Tier 2 by himself. He does have a haste, though. Ooh, double stun. Oh, that's going to potentially lead to both kills. Oh, yeah. Jesus. And they'll at least trade White Mom, but wow, Carl kind of getting away with a lot there. I hope that Jinkyu just doesn't have boots at all. BKB. Ooh, BKB. Oh, my kill on a Zephyr. Balance Strike coming in. They've also got the ult from Jao 8. Using that Nether Strike to lock up White Mom. They'll get themselves two. They're going to look with the arena as well as the spear that's going to be out of Jinkyu, but they use the Wukong's command. BKB gets popped by Carl. They'll get the kill on a Jinkyu. Trade a two for one. 23 Savage. Oh, he's like, I mean, there's some of these cores that you can get away with it, the Philosopher's Stone.
Mid lane, oh Stormhammer not gonna land. Now they've got the charge coming out of 23 as well as the Rod of Angels, though. Dropped on the arena with the BKB being popped by Ame. Gets that Jingu to go off. And now the right click's coming through with the Wukong's man trying to get the kill here on a 23. Goes after Carl instead. Nether Strike, it's on 23. Stormhammer gonna land on the two. They've got the Reaper Scythe, but there's the disruption save. They'll save 23. He'll blink away. He gets out oh for goodness. now. But the rockets are flying in. The Rod of Atos is still gonna land on a 23. They're gonna continue to chase. They've got the Ghost Shroud. Rockets coming in. White Mon in trouble. Here comes Ame, they'll at least get him. How much they respect each other. And like the panel was saying before, they've played each other so many times now. But... Oh, hang on, they're going oh, in. Yeah, that's Faith Beyond going in with the overwhelming blink. They've got the stun coming through on a Carl. Carl getting locked up with a nether strike coming Great up from Jawi, but they get a kill on a Y, and Y's not going to be able to get anything really off afterwards. Jawi, it also falls with Faith Beyond. Three years dead on the side of LGD. They go after Jinku trying to get the kill under the stinkers. The Wukong's command is going to be around these zeros on the side of D1, but they've already taken out four on LGD, and they'll lose everybody on LGD as a clean. Sweet words in an AOE, which could be quite nice because obviously he gets that oh, extra the Tinker. silence multiplier. They do catch themselves, Jin Q, and he will not survive. And without the Tinker being up here, they're going to try and force the high ground, see if they can poke for a Viva. Ups the God Strength charge comes in from Jow 8. They're going to go through. They've got the Disarm, and now 23 is going to start taking away with the God Strength. The Cleave doing so much damage to get the kill to Jow They look over an and they'll take out the Monkey King. No buyback. They buy back on Jinku, but with no Monkey King, this is a tough hold. They already got the tier three, and now they're gonna get the set of racks. The charge comes out from Jao Wei, and now they've got the overwhelming quick coming out from Faith Beyond. Those for the Reaper Scythe for the disruption save oh, once again. Zephyr on it, Spear lands, Faith Beyond, he's in trouble. Storm Hammer hits, and they'll get the kill onto this Necro. Jao Wei can only just charge and hope, but Jao Wei now on the run, and he's killed too. Three heroes did without buyback. Finally, Jinku takes out White Mon, goes after Zephyr, has the lasers, the rockets, the Yules, though, from Carl, who's gonna land the stun. And well, there it is. They've got the last word as well as the arcane curse, but it's just why standing his ground, trying to do something with nobody else alive to help him out. Uh -huh. This might just be the kill that gets the two Gs called from LGD. Although Zephyr, all right, well, he'll use that Lotus Sword. They'll get the kill. They'll take the set of racks up top. They still have a tier two to take over me, but they could go for the tier fours. And yeah, with knowing that, LGD will call G. That being said, still 23 is CSing pretty well. Uh, it's really difficult to get on top of him, though. Oh, no just him on White Mon. Yeah, and he's heavenly graced himself. Jingu taking a lot of damage. Gets the Jingu off. Boundless Strike needs to be careful for the Klinks' damage. Carl, meanwhile, gets first blood on Jao Wei while there's two kills up towards top. Faith Beyond looking to get a second. And 23, one more shot, will get run down by Faith Beyond. A TP, oh, the TP. from Zephyr. Trans body blocking. And good Sprout. I haven't used uh, Finger of Death just yet. They do have the double burst damage with the Laguna and the Finger. They're going to go to the Haunt. Now let's see who he's going for. It's going to be 23. They've got the Balance Strike from a distance. Faith Beyond gets credit for the kill. On to 23. And now they'll look for Zephyr, who stands in the Earth Splitter from Y. And Jin Q gets himself a kill. It's another pairing for the side of LGD that they'll take. Dyer are scanning. It's usually a big help when you've got that level four and you're able to just primal spring these creep waves. Arena down, Jowie caught with the spear. They've got the Earth Splitter in the sweep on a tube of the finger comes in with the Earth Spike from Zephyr, four heroes in. Now Jin Q looking to land that Wukong's as well as Balance Strike, but they've got the Guardian Angel and the Luna Boy comes out on a Y. Dragon Slave follow up with one more right click from Cuckoo, gets himself a second, could be a oh third. Jin Q surviving, Q. doing a lot of damage. Kills off Zephyr, looks over at White Mon, Carl goes down and Cuckoo is next. Four heroes are gonna fall here on T1. Jin Q making it happen himself, oh basically, to start. And then get some follow up help from Jao Wait and Faith Beyond. And it looks like, I think that was Orchid oh. queued up on the Spectre as well. Oh boy, oh boy, they caught him. But now again, Ame going in with the Shadow Step will have the Haunt to follow it up. They'll look for the LSA, but that's only going to be an illusion. He's jaunting and jiving around as he's going for 23. They've got the dust onto the Clinks. They're going to try and catch him. And another Quelling Blade, Earth oh Splitter, forcing 23 over to the side. But they've got the Arena coming down that saves the Clinks as well as Gar on the Lina. They get the kill on the Jinku, but now what else can they get? The Sweep comes in from wide. They have the Rod of Atos on a Cuckoo. They're not going to follow this up with anything more. 
That was Shadow Step and Haunt looking to get a kill here. Spectral Dagger thrown forward. Jow waits a little bit too far in, but behind them is Faith Beyond. They'll get the kill to Carl. They're going to look over the rest. They look over 23, but the spear is going to land onto the Nature's Prophet. They get the kill to 23 as the sleep hits on the two. Separate can only stand and watch as they've got the Glaive here. They'll throw it onto these two heroes of White Monoguku and kill them both off. Are scanning. Someone shows mid. Yeah. Dead. And there's the shadow step with Faith Beyond using that Wrath of Nature. And now they're going to look for more. Cuckoo going to use that arena, but the Wukong's command comes in. The Earth Splitter flies through. Glatenir on the Cuckoo. They'll get the kill on the Mars. This ends going for the four staff. They've got Faith Beyond pressuring the top tier too. And if anybody comes over, well, Zhao Wei and Jinkyu are ready to go. And here they are. Carl. He gets the BKB off, but they've got the lasso inside the Wukong's command. They're going to bring 23 in. Ooh, they bring 23 in. Why are they bringing 23 into this? That's right into the Wukong's. He's in so much trouble. They get the Kona White on the take out 23. They look over in separate. It looks like not only a third, but should be a fourth. The Wu Zhaoing in the process. Uku, the fact that he's got a re the arena allows him to walk out. LSA hits on Faith Beyond. Is he going to lose the undead streak? The Laguna barely does anything. It doesn't scratch the surface. Cuckoo now sold up by the Diffusal Blade of Jinku. They'll chase him down, and eventually, if the Jingu procs, Cuckoo will die, and it's looking likely that it'll do so. Although Jingu going back and forth and kind of playing with his food a bit, allowing Cuckoo to blink out. Who's always ready to make a jump with the Shadow Step in the Haunt? Two options to really dive in, and they're going to dive on in. Going in here, 423, they've used the Haunt. They'll get the kill, and well, he's without buyback. I think the main way they throw this game on LGD is if they try and push the Tiger on too early. And there it is. Right. Forcing the BKB. And now, ooh, they've got oh, the Sprout. No. He actually blinks into the Sprout. And this is a problem for T1. They're all here. The Guardian Ninja is going to come out with Jowie going in with the BKB. They've got themselves the last one that comes into the Omni Knight. Ame looking for a target. They'll get the kill on White Mon. Now they'll look for the rest. Arena down. Spear hits on a face beyond, but that's only taking him out of the fight for a second. Cuckoo, he's silenced. He'll TP out. All they get so far is White Mom, but Zephyr looking like the next one to fall. Gleitnir is used, and they'll lose both supports on the side of T1. All five heroes were there, and that was potentially devastating. Are they going to go for this straight away on T1? They're going to go through Gleitnir on a two. Manta, Ame might lose this Aegis. The rest of the team is kind of far away from him, so do they have the ability to save Ame? LSA is going to come through, and they've got the damage to get this kill on Ame. Wow. They're taking out the Spectre. Well done by T1, and a little bit of just leaving their carry alone for the moment. They want they're more, still though. going for Faith Beyond. They want to kill him for the first time this game, as they've taken out Ame for the first time. He's now 6-1 and 14. Earth Splitter coming through. 23 trying to fight with BKB. Be popped by Jinku. Now they've got the Wukong. A man down. 23's oh. running too far. Oh, man. Balance Strike on and two. They've got the BKB. Popped by Xiaowei. The Glaive is going to walk up the other two heroes on the side of T1, and this is going to go awfully for them. White on Zephyr. Cuckoo all gone. Four heroes dead on the side of T1. They just have so much, like we talked about, they have so much pickup potential. It's so difficult. I was going to buy back, but oh, what a great oh, force. Interesting. That's... Four staff. I think... And they now they're going to get the lasso out on a cuckoo. Was that the lean of four staff? I think, I think they tried to go for two separate plays yeah. at the same time. Where they both would have been really good individually, but they kind of cancelled each other out instead. <laughs> they're going after the leader. They've got the Yules up into the air. Carl going to... Get in between the tier fours, but he is sprouted up. Flame break back and killed off. Now the arena is going to be around on four. They've got buyback available on Carl, but Cuckoo already leaving the fight with the BKB being popped by Jawa. They're going to TP right into this one. White Mon right into the middle of the fray, and he takes about 75% of his health and damage immediately. Glaive near thrown in. They've got themselves the Wukong's command. Carl steps up for a moment. They get the kill on the Jinku. They'll end up losing Cuckoo. They hit the sleep on the 23. And now they're draining the mana away from Faith Beyond, but he is fine with the BKB and the right coats coming away. They'll buy back on all three heroes on the side of T1 looking to chase faith beyond not speared up ends up leaving and the burning barrage this is a good idea they need to try and again it's the whole five versus four thing a lie oh, he's a got BKB. a bkb <laughs> and that is a nine second bkb that he's taking advantage of they're gonna look for the sweep that's gonna land on a 23 he's woken up a cuckoo now low he ends up dying he's gonna be dead for 100 seconds without buyback they're onto the back lines they've got joey going through with the lasso on the 23 they'll take it the clinks they've also killed off white on three heroes dead on the side of t1 make it a fourth and a gg for eating some right clicks so is why from these hell bears i think lena should be able to keep the distance right all the time so 
I'm not sure how that happened, but... And Nightmare with these right clicks, magic missile... Oh! So, you know, he gains information off his death at least. But still and good gains for T1. The potential gold. Yeah. I'll say it's and Zephyr. No Laguna Blade for Xiaowei just yet. Two two man split Earth, and then they've got the Fatal Bonds to work with. Nightmare and Primal Spring on a Cuckoo. Boundless Strike, the damage is there. They'll get the kill. Whitemon just standing his ground, but that may not be the play for him. Why coming in doesn't have Brain Sap or Nightmare for a couple more seconds, but will continue to chase with the help of Ame and the sweep from Jinku, so they'll get themselves a second. Does almost get a, a full level out of that, but unfortunately he never grabs the whole thing. Jinku in a bit of trouble, but the Primal Spring now. Oh, they've got the silence on the Monkey King. They get the kill on the Jinku. TV They're going to bring over the Tide Hunter. He's going to look to Ravage probably immediately after coming into this, but they already get the kill on Aame, and the Ravage is going to be a little bit late. However, they look over at Carl. They've got the Anchor Smash. They need one more shot to kill off this little Shrak, and they will. No, I don't play that here. I don't want to embarrass myself. They're going to ooh, throw Laguna Blade out and get a kill there on his effort. They don't even kill off Y with the chase from 23. He's going to TP oh, over towards no. mid. As now they'll take the tower. They've got the Chrono Good down on the two. All right. Jinku's gone. Yule's up into the air. Xiaowei trying to help out. They'll end the LSA. The right click's coming in from 23. Faith Beyond taking a lot of damage. He's got Ravage in 25. So it's a long way out of this fight. They've got oh, the heal, but it's not going to be enough. They've got the Brain Sap coming in. Xiaowei finally falls to 23. But they're controlling up this void. Again, they don't have Ravage. Time Walk trying to run. There's the Gush. And why with a double kill in this fight? I mean, that's a good move for T1, right? Like, they know Ooh, can they, they can't still kill Carl? Right now. Carl's going to look for the stun, but here comes Y. Chaotic offering to follow it up. That's going to land on a three. Beat Beyond does have Ravage if it's needed, and it's not. They get the kill to Carl, the ticket of the golem, the look over now at White Mon. Fatal Bond's on a four, but there's no follow-up to that, so it doesn't exactly matter. Now Chrono's down. Oh no. Poor Carl. Well, Ravage comes out. Carl ends up dead. They've got the silence on it too, but it's not gonna matter. Cuckoo's been caught and they've got the Yules. They should have the kill to follow this up, and they will. Oh, they found the army though. Ame low and oh, gone. 23 was... gets the kill with the bash health. Oh, sick. Great. Ready and available. Yep. Nightmare. They've got Chaotic Offering. They'll look for the sweep that hits on a white mod. Now the Earth Splitter to follow it up. They're actually going to the other side. They'll use the swap to save Cuckoo. There's the Chaotic Offering coming down to the three. They'll look for the silence. They get the kill to Xiaowat. They took him out very quickly. Now Y falls too. Feet beyond. He's in with no Ravage available. Yeah, it's, it's still not seconds. quite up yet. He's all by himself. The look for the sleep. Oh, Yules from Carl. That stops the sleep from, from coming in. But the gosh, doing a decent amount of damage. Faith Beyond still very tanky. They've used that Chrono. They get the kill on Jinku. That's going to be three. Looking oh, for a fourth. Kill it. Faith Beyond still throwing the gushes out. And eventually he will fall. All four dying on LGD. 23s in the trees, Primal Spring, BKB, preempted from 23. That might keep him alive. The Magic Missile, now he's in the trees, but the right click's coming up from Zhao 8. He's got that Crystalist. They're trying to TP out. They've got Y coming in. There's the Gush. LSA comes through with the Laguna Blade thrown over onto Zephyr. He's going to have that Ag, so he'll be able to do quite a bit once he's dead anyway. And, well, now that Illusion is there. Magic Missile once again. They get the kill on a Zephyr. Bottom lane. They're TPing in. They have found Cuckoo. Carl coming in. They've got the swap once again. BKB gets popped by Ami. He's thinking about throwing down the Wukongs, but he'll stop that. Now 23 comes over. He does have himself the Chronosphere. They've got themselves the Wukongs. He's trying to get out of the range of the circle to get that swap off, and that's exactly what he's going to do with the Magic Mitzel. Now they've got the Ravage. Chaotic Offering goes down to the high route over Jinku. They've got the good way to get the kill to Cuckoo, and now they've got the Chrono from 23. But the Nightmare, not going to be enough to save Xiaowei for the moment, as he's getting right-clicked by 23, but he doesn't have the damage to finish him off. Gosh comes in, hits on a White Mod as well. Carl and well, White Mon standing his ground with the upheaval. They finally get the kill on the Xiao Wei. Carl turning on Faith Beyond. Sleep coming through from Jinku, but avoided with the Yules. Gush again. White Mon low. Anchor Smash hits, but it's still not enough to get the kill on this Warlock just yet. They've killed off the Lashrak, and now finally they'll take out Y. 23 gets the kill on the Bane, but they end up losing the Warlock. Four is dead on the side of T1 with a triple kill there for 23. Time walk forward trying to slow down Jinku. Mare on the, the bench. Uh, 
They really want the void, but... Yeah, they, they get found the a boundless strike. They've got the Fiend Scrape. They'll get the kill on 23. They'll take out Zephyr. Ame stopped the first boundless strike through the second that hit the void that allowed them to get the Fiend's Grip off, and they'll take out the illusion from Zephyr as well. They have Rafa Jump Shield as well. Yeah, they're going to get out. And they're going to look to try and force the high ground here by the seams of it. There's the time walk in. The Chrono comes down on a two. It's going to be out of the oh, Time Hunter as well as the Lina, but they've got the Fiend's Grip all the way from the side with the BKB being popped by 23, and now he needs to get out, but he can't. They've got the Fiend's Grip. He doesn't have buyback. They've killed off three already. They're going with the Ravage. They've got the BKBs popped around the horn. They'll take out Cuckoo and Carl. Full team wipe there for LGD, and they don't lose anything. T1 not giving up here. The SCA mentality in full show. Now the strike chaotic offering comes through with the fatal bonds, but now they're trying to make something happen. They'll get the kill into Zhao Wei. They'll at least find one. Ami, he's got about 66% of his health to work with as the gushes are coming they through. They get the kill into Faith Beyond. They've killed off two. He doesn't have buyback, but they fought back on Zhao Wei. Zhao is going to go through and try and kill off this illusion that makes sure the Venge is out of the fight completely, and there it is. So 57 seconds, no Venge, but they've got Kuku back up in just five. They haven't defended the base completely. They've lost the bottom set of racks, and now LGD will transition over to the mid-tier three and set of racks to look for Megas. Kuku goes in, he'll pop that ult, he'll go in with the BKB as well as the silence coming into the Monkey King. White Mon trying to do what he can, but oh the damage God, coming up for Jao in on a Kuku is enough to get this kill and take out the Night Stalker as quickly as he was alive, he was dead. And Void's about to come back up again, but he doesn't have Crota, remember, here either. I mean, that fight in the bottom is at least... Yeah, I mean, that fight in the bot was so well positioned by LGD, though. They uh, they managed to get the grip onto the Void as soon as he comes in, right? But also, at the same time, they have the zoning in the background from the ET stomp. And so he gets the support so that they can't use the swap to save the Void. Blink, Ravage through on a 23, gone. The, uh, the stomp hit Zephyr in the back line as well, so they couldn't even get the swap off. Yeah, Zephyr's dead too, and, well... A call GG, a little bit anticlimactic, but LGD, the reverse sweep to take the 2-1 over T1.